the world over spelling is held in high regard. It is no different in Kenya where an annual spelling competition is held to reward the best spellers in the country. The Kenya National Spelling Bee is a registered educational organization whose objective is to cultivate a reading nation. C O N S E R V A T I O N O apostrophe C L O C K C L U T C H E D A R T E F A C T In an effort to promote a reading culture, the Kenyan National Spelling Bee holds annual competitions in which children from both private and public primary schools are encouraged to participate. We mooted the idea of spelling bee uh, some two years ago and we did come uh, as a team of uh, educational experts. Uh, we assessed and uh, after some research in the country which we carried out, we found that uh, reading culture in the country is really going down and we sort of came up with ideas of uh, uh, bridging the gap. Read to succeed. This is the message being emphasized in the Kenyan National Spelling Bee. It promotes a reading culture and helps learners to enrich their learning experience. Reading culture is not only in the primary, it's not a problem in primary, it's a problem across board. We, we are saying uh, Kenyans should be trained on how to read. That culture to be cultivated into them from the primary level, because we know as they grow up, then they will own up reading as a, a way of life. Being able to pronounce words correctly is a great start because spelling is a different skill altogether. Spelling correctly is a skill that takes time and effort. However, before embarking on the competition, the kids sample the sights and sounds of Mombasa County. From boat rides to walks along the beach, this is an experience of a lifetime for most of these learners. Children will now take reading as a first thing in their lives and it is actually going to enhance their speaking of English. They love it and uh, they'll be so eloquent in whatever they are doing and it will also nurture their skill. The Kenya National Spelling Bee brought together participants from 36 counties, each county giving its top three, bringing a total of 108 spellers at the national competition. We came up with four readers from Kenya Literature Bureau. The students were supposed to go through them. They study them. They identify the new words from those readers. And then they would familiarize themselves with the new words. So it is from those readers whereby we extracted the words for competition, both for the counties and also for the nationals. The books that we were given by KLB, he has read them all, the four of them. We've been practicing every lunch prep, uh, spelling the words. This competition also nurtures leaders of tomorrow and public speakers. So when if you become a public speaker, you'll have to use the correct English. And so this, comp this competition just nurtures you right from the beginning until to the end.